What is up everybody? Today we are here at Crossroads Church, not gonna be playing the course. We're gonna be using their perfectly wide open field to do something uh, a little different, game tutorial. It's disc dice. So we've played disc dice before, um, but we've never done a tutorial. So this is gonna be the tutorial for that video, uh, for that game. Basically, we know that a lot of players are new to disc golf and there might be some new players to disc golf on our channel. So we're gonna be like rolling the dice and basically showing what each shot is and then what discs uh, can fit that slot, basically. Yeah. Right? Okay, so let's hop into it. Okay, so when you open up the bag, the disc dice bag, you can choose different colors online. We got the blue ones, um, but so that link will be in the description below. <clears throat> Sorry about that. The instructions on the, on the card that it comes with, these are the three instructions. Flip over a disc, roll the dice, throw what the dice say. The Disc Dice logo is wild. Okay. Super easy. Yeah, very it's easy. It's an awesome game, too, to play if um, you know, you're trying to like practice some more shots that you don't usually yeah. have in your game. I know for me, I'm like a almost strictly backhand player, so this kind of forces you to try out some new stuff. Maybe you have a shot that you never knew you had before. Right, exactly. So I'll go through like what exactly is on each one and then we can talk about like those kind of discs or what kind of shots they would be. So on the first one you have backhand, hyzer, roller, forehand, the wild, an anheuser, and that's it. Okay. Yeah, so that first, the first dice, those are the kind of throw right. that you're going to be doing. Right, um, and then you have understable, now this is disc type, uh, so we'll tell you guys what understable and overstable means in a second. Understable, mid-range, overstable, putter, um, and driver. And then again, you have the wild logo as well. All right, so I'm going to be showing you guys the, the dice that has types of throws, and Hannah will show you guys types of discs. So I'll just start with what is the most common, which would be the backhand. And backhand is, whether you're a righty or a lefty, um, you're just going to be throwing it literally backhand as if like you have a you backhand somebody? <laughs> like, like frisbee. Yeah, okay. It's like you're throwing a frisbee. You backhand somebody. <laughs> or as if you're swinging a bat, but the opposite way. Um, so I'll show you guys what a backhand looks like, um, and we'll go from there. Okay. So super easy, nice and smooth. Um, you don't need to throw those hard at all, especially if you're like just learning, you could throw putters, which we'll, have, we'll talk about putters in a little while. Um, that was just a mid range that I threw backhand. And now let's talk about forehand. Well, actually with a backhand, let me mention, as you noticed, I'm a righty that ended to the left. And if I'm gonna throw a forehand righty, it's gonna end to the right. So obviously that's two different uh, shot shapes that you'll have in your game. Okay, now I'm gonna go ahead and throw uh, that forehand. Um, you'll see I'm throwing it more of like, if you throw a baseball, you, um, you know, sometimes people pitch like sidearm or something like that. That's almost what you're doing. You're throwing it like this. So I'll throw the forehand and you'll see that it's gonna finish to the right. So I threw that a little bit low, but as you could see after it skipped, it did go to the right. So if you're in the woods um, and you're having a shot that's gonna end to the right, you would throw the forehand, um, obviously, because that's the way it's gonna end. But if you're playing the game, you might not have a choice. Again, though, this is a good uh, game to play if you're learning, like Hannah said before. Now let's go to roller. Okay, so rollers you could use for many different scenarios. Um, you can use them if you're like pinched off in the woods and you need to get out and you don't have like anywhere to like throw your disc, either forehand or backhand. What you're gonna do is like almost like you're throwing a baseball again, this time for real, overhand with it uh, like straight up and down at the ground. And when it hits the ground, obviously it's gonna hit and roll. If thrown like straight up and down, it is gonna fall over eventually to the um, face of the plate. It's gonna fall down this way. Um, and that goes same for four, like regular rollers or backhand rollers. And then there's things called cut rollers as well that you might not put as much angle on it. So it's not gonna fall over, it'll just go that way. So I'll throw you um, one of each. Throw like a regular roller and then a cut roller. So that'll be a cut roller. 
I threw it on the right angle and it did not go towards the face. What it did was, so as you can see, it went to the right, like right where my forehand went. That would be more susceptible to sticks and leaves, but less susceptible to the wind. So that might be a viable option. Okay, now I'm gonna throw the uh, roller that would, it's gonna like fall towards the plate, the face. So as you can see, that curled up uh, all the way to the left. I didn't like put it on a straight angle to get super distance so you guys could see um, like the way that it was going to curl up. So that right there already was four shot shapes. Um, so again, this game is gonna be really good for learning different things. The first time that we played, uh, you guys can watch it. I could put the info card up there. Hannah was throwing so many different shots that she never used to throw. <laughs> And she was like, oh my gosh, like I've never thrown these before. She's like, well, I guess this is probably like the point of the game is throwing these different shots. Um, okay, which she was right. So now we have Heiser. A lot of rollers. You did, yeah. <laughs> okay, so now that we're throwing Heiser, I do want to start by saying that Heiser does not only have to be thrown backhand, uh, can be thrown forehand as well. It's just the angle at the disc of the disc at which it like comes out of your hand. So Heiser is going to mean that it's coming out on this kind of an angle. Like the disc is facing down towards the ground. So uh, when you're throwing and you're about to release, you're gonna be facing like over the disc. You'll come out on that angle with the disc down towards the ground and it's gonna finish like to the left or if you're throwing forehand, it's gonna finish more towards the right. And so the forehand hyzer, if you're gonna throw it a little bit harder, um, I think cause you'll have to like get lower with your elbow and stuff like that, but you would just throw it like this and that's what's gonna be your forehand hyzer. And you might not get as much distance with the forehand hyzer uh, rather than like throwing it flat, but you might need to cut a corner or miss a tree or something like that. So that's why you might have to throw the hyzer. I'll go ahead and throw one of each. So with hyzers, you're over the disc. Right, with the hyzer, you're gonna be over the disc. And then what you're about to see in a second, which is called an anhyzer, is the opposite. You're gonna be under the disc when you're throwing. Okay, so a good thing to remember when you're throwing an anhyzer is as if you have like a hula hoop around yourself, and when you're throwing, follow the hula hoop. So your whole body should, like your legs, arms, and everything like that. Um, so that's how you're gonna throw an anhyzer. This kind of shot shape could be good for max distance. Um, you're really trying to like flex something. You could also do that by throwing a hyzer, but that's probably like more advanced, I'd say. You'd also do this maybe in the woods if there's like a tree right in front of you that you need to get around. You could just be throwing um, an anhyzer if you're more comfortable, or you could also throw that hyzer. But let me show you backhand and forehand anhyzer. So when you throw that Anheuser, you're gonna get that flatter finish when it hits the ground. Um, so probably less susceptible to rollaways and stuff like that. So it'll just hit and slide. Um, and now I'll show you a forehand Anheuser. Again, that disc had that flat finish. I'm not throwing these super hard. I'm just trying to get that angle. Um, so I had that flat finish and just slid up there. And I think, that might be everything on my dice. Time for Hannah's turn. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna start by explaining putters. Um, these are the slowest discs, so you're gonna use these for shorter shots. Uh, each disc has a variety, so there can be overstable and understable putters. Uh, Lunas are generally considered Straight. Straight. Yeah. You're good. <laughs> they have a lot of glide, which is why I like to throw yep. them. I know that's why Zach likes to throw them too. Um, so putters generally have a deeper rim, so there's more room underneath to put your hands. What's your guys' favorite putters? Let us know in the comments. Yeah, what do you guys putt with? I mean, I used to putt with... Okay, so hold on. Let's talk about this real quick. 
<laughs> because there's an array of putters that I've used. I am the typical amateur where I blamed everything on the putter and not me. <laughs> so I putted with Wizards when I started. Oh, me too. Then I went PA3s. Then I went McPros. Then I went back to PA3s. Then I went to Lunas. You and put then, it with a Justice for a while. Oh, then you kind uh, Justice of was in there. The five of those. Yeah, yeah. then Justice was in there. And I'm back to Lunas now. So, anyway, <laughs> go ahead, keep going. Okay, so the next disc I'm going to explain to you guys are mid ranges. So, obviously, middle. Not as fast as a driver, not as slow as a putter. So, my favorite mid is a Buzz. I carry my bag of Buzz SS and a Buzz. Um, so these also have like the deep rims kind of like putters, uh, but they're a little bit wider on the sides. Mid is a really good disc to use uh, while you're in the woods because they give you a ton of control. Um, they're better for upshots too because they're not going to finish as hard. Well, I guess some of them if they're more overstable, that means they're going to finish harder, but we'll get into that. All right, what's the last disc? The last disc I'm going to describe to you guys are drivers. There's a huge variety of drivers from super overstable to super understable. Right. So let's take my F5 and my F7 because these are just super easy to explain. Yep. So my F5, it's a fairway driver, so it's not going to be as fast as a distance driver. Awesome. One. And the 5, so the F5 and the F7, the mm -hmm. 5 means it's going to be slightly more over slightly more overstable yeah i was right <laughs> that's the prodigy's way of uh like describing describing how, how over and understable your disc is going right. to be so the higher the number is after the seven the more after understable the f. after the f <laughs> is the more understable your disc is going to be so what kind of shots would you throw with the f7 f7 you can throw like zach was saying before you can throw rollers because it's going to turn over super easily and go towards the face of the disc right so if someone is more like has more power, I'd say maybe they'd throw an F5 for a roller. But like someone for myself and Hannah, we'd throw the F7 because it's easier to get down on the ground. Understable discs are also better for like people who are beginning disc golf yes. because it's not going to crash as hard. You're going to get a little bit more control, a little more distance with mm -hmm. it. And then this is another one. It's the Predator. This one's more overstable. Uh, you can see that the rim here is a little bit wider. I like the wider rims, but it kind of just depends on your fingers. I have tiny hands and I like the uh, smaller rims. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so distant or drivers are going to go. They're the furthest disc. They're the fastest disc. And Where can these people like pick up discs like this? You can pick up any sort of disc that you want at, maybe not any. You can pick up discs like this at Disc Golf 978. Go check out their online shop. And if you're in their area, yep. go check out their in-store shop. I see pictures all the time. I know, time. I wish that we could go. <laughs> I know, it looks so cool. They have so much stuff. They have a ton of cool gear that you can wear also. Mm -hmm. You wanna show them some, sh show them some shots now? Sure. <laughs> okay, let's start roller with that F7. Okay guys, so remember the F7 is an understable disc, which means it's not going to crash as hard as the way that your disc naturally would. Nice. So she's got that roller down. It's got super good distance on it too. More so of it. flip up towards the face, but that's it okay. definitely rolled More of a cut roller, but that was really far. <laughs> Maybe like 300 feet. That Honestly, it was far, a bomb. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So this F5 she has is more of a straighter disc. So uh, go ahead and just go ahead and see third straight. So obviously you guys saw at the end, it's gonna naturally crash to the right because I threw lefty, but it didn't crash that hard. It stayed on its route and it pretty much ended straight in front of me down there. Yeah. All right, now throw an overstable disc now. Okay, so this is my X3. Um, again, like overstable, understable, it's gonna be different depending on your arm speed. My arm speed is pretty average. So the X3 is kind of really overstable for me. So that means it's gonna crash a lot harder. I'm gonna throw this straight and show you how hard at the end it's gonna crash. And now she's going to throw an understable disc flat also and show you the difference of like the flight path between an overstable and an understable disc. Yeah, so this one might even, even though I throw it flat because it's understable, it might flip up to the left 
and then flex back down. Or it, understable discs can it also go that, uh, that line also, yeah. Yeah, as you could see, it held that left line a lot more and stayed way more left than the other disc did. Okay, I'm gonna roll like two or three times and then show you guys like examples of what I would choose um, out of Hannah's back because I threw on my discs. So I just threw and I got a wild and an understable. I'm gonna re re roll this one just so there's actually a... <laughs> an Anheuser and an understable disc. So let's go ahead and find that. Actually, I have that in my hand. This is a Sonic, it's a putter. It is understable. Um, so now I would throw this understable disc on this Anheuser and let me just throw it real quick. All right, let's roll again. Overstable and Heiser. Oh my gosh, this is perfect, two in a row. Uh, I have the Emperor. It is an overstable disc. Um, and if I'm gonna throw a Heiser, I, for example, if I need to throw to like those trees over there, the green trees, uh, and I wanna throw a Heiser, I'm gonna throw something overstable because I wanna make sure I can get it there. What are you laughing at? Green trees. Green trees, oh yeah, they're green, right? All right, Heiser, remember, you have to make sure you're over your body and something overstable, um, it's going to help it. It's going to help the hyzer. Right. It'll help the hyzer. It'll, it'll get there the faster. Because if I throw an understable disc on hyzer, it might flip up like all the way over. So it is, yeah. What'd you say? It's doing the same thing? It's helping it. Yeah, yeah. it helps. So let's just throw it real quick. Just like that. Okay, so I know this video might not be for all of you because a lot of you might already know how to play the sport. This is for those new players out there. Um, so go ahead, in the description below, there's a link you guys can uh, buy some disc dice for yourself. We will be doing some uh, challenges in the future with the disc dice where we're gonna be playing uh, a different way than we played the first time. And then hopefully we're also gonna be challenging other people to play with us uh, so two more Disc Dice videos in the future. Don't know when. Um, but again, shout out to Disc Dice. Thanks, guys, uh, for helping with this video. And watch this video right over here that YouTube recommends for you. And we'll see you guys next time.